What's happening everybody? Today I'm gonna show y'all how to rig a blue crab properly so that y'all can maximize your fish catching. And um, blue crab is definitely one of the like most versatile saltwater baits. And it's definitely, in my opinion, one of, whoa, this guy, make sure he's not gonna snap me. But a blue crab right here is definitely one of the, in my opinion, one of the most effective saltwater baits, uh, especially when you're targeting redfish red drum which is one of my favorite species to target right here in my backyard so this is the chesapeake bay okay, so we've already done a video on how to rig a blue crab but i wanted to show you all like the different applications if you're fishing for sheephead if you're fishing for puppy drum or if you're fishing for bull drum so i have three kind of of the most like common rigs for blue crab different applications we'll start big and then we'll go small so the first one is just gonna be for what I like to use for like big drum, big bull reds. You know, anything over that 35 to 40 inch mark, if I'm really targeting those big drum, this is how I'm gonna rig it. So this is a fish finder rig. So you've got your snap swivel that's gonna slide up and down. You're gonna have a bead, a two-way swivel here that I'm gonna be using like an eight to 10 ounce pyramid sinker, just depending on the depth and the current. I'd say when I'm fishing behind me, the Chesapeake Bay, those first, second, or third, fourth islands, uh, we're fishing a pretty strong moving current and we're fishing about 20 to 35 plus feet deep of water. So I'm gonna be using at least a six or seven ounce, usually an eight ounce. You can just attach it right to this, um, a pyramid sinker. And then I'm gonna have 50 to 60 pound test leader line. And then I've got a seven aught hook right here. Typically, I'm gonna be using a circle hook or this octopus style hook right here. So this is how we're gonna rig this blue crab for the big bull drum. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off the claws. So just pop those claws off. Now, when you get to here, there's a few different ways that you can do it. So some people will leave the shell on and some people will pop the shell off. Honestly, for blue crab, what makes them so effective is the fact that they have so many oils and juices that are going to really key those redfish into this bait. So, but if you pop the shell off, then the downside is you're gonna get a lot of like croaker spot and just a lot of small fish picking at it. So the bait's not gonna last as long. Typically, these blue crabs are not cheap. Um, so I'll just show you all a few different ways. The first way is you can literally, with the good pair of scissors, you can just cut right into it with the shell on like this. I'll show you all a different way as well. So you just cut right into it. Pretty much straight in half. So just like this, check that out. All that disgustingness, the guts, all those juices, that right there is redfish candy. So all you're gonna wanna do is pull off one of the legs. Typically the crab's still gonna be moving at this point. All right, so all you're gonna do from here is I'm gonna take the hook, put it in through one of the appendages, one of like, so I'm gonna put the hook in through one of the appendages, slide it through nice and deep, and then just pop it out through the back just like that. So this right here, this is the first way that you would rig a blue crab. That is pretty much bull, redfish, and even big black drum candy. Uh, cobia will definitely eat this. Pretty much all of your inshore fish love blue crab. So this right here is the first tactic. So when I'm targeting like the big, big fish, I'm gonna be using half of a blue crab at least. So when I'm targeting like the big bull drum, big black drum, half blue crab works fine or you can even cut it up more and you can use a quarter blue crab. So the other thing that you can do is you can pop the shell off. So the shell just comes off pretty easy just like that. This in my opinion is probably gonna be one of the most effective ways because you have like the lungs right here and then you have just all these juices that are even more exposed. So that's just gonna allow all of those juices to really kind of soak and that's really what those redfish, the black drum and all of our inshore game fish are gonna be um, you know, kind of sniffing out. When I'm fishing and I'm targeting like big bull drum right here behind me in the Chesapeake Bay, 
this is pretty much what I'm going to start out with doing just like this. I'm going to take the shell off. If I'm getting it picked at time and time again, I'll probably leave the shell on and it's gonna be a little bit more uh, resilient to those bait fish. But this right here, you guys, that's straight up bull redfish candy right here. Half of a blue crab, all you want is to make sure that this is all intact and that your hook is nice and snug here in the blue crab. All right, let's grab another one. See if we got a live one in here. Oh, he's grabbing onto his buddy. This is the fun fishing with blue crabs right here. All right, so when you're handling a live blue crab, just grab it in the back just like that. I like to use one pair of pliers. They only have two big pinchers. So one pair of pliers, grab the other one with your hand and then just take his claw off. With the pliers, then take the other claw off with your hand, just, just like that. Now he's not gonna get you. You can actually use these. These are great sheephead bait. And that's actually the next rig that I'm gonna show y'all is when you're targeting sheephead or when I'm fishing on the bridge pilings when we're targeting trophy size sheephead, big black drum and big red drum. So this tends to be one of the most popular ways to rig a blue crab. I'm gonna show y'all right here. This is a bottom sweeper jig right here. This, you guys have never heard of this, is one of the best rigs or jigs that you can buy. This is one of the best rigs that you can buy for blue crab fishing. This will get you on everything everything so we're catching like big bull drum on these we're catching slot size drum uh big black drum everything none of this video is sponsored by the way uh this is just my straight up you know honest feedback and, and kind of what i like to use so if you don't ever heard of the bottom sweeper jig super popular here on the east coast i don't know if they've made their way down to texas or louisiana but y'all definitely comment below so when we're targeting the sheephead and the black drum and a lot of the fish on the pilings and the docks here's what we're going to do we're going to pop off the shell just grab it by one of the wings just like this so the shell comes right off so these blue crabs aren't cheap so you want to make sure that you have a good pair of scissors or shears so you can cut these crab uh, if you don't have a good pair of scissors then it's just going to kind of mess up your crab a little bit so you're going to cut it straight down the middle first just like this typically i'm doing this in a kayak or a boat all right so this is half of a blue crab right here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in half. So typically you're gonna have like two appendages right here and you just wanna split it in two right there and just cut that. This right here is what you want. These are quarter size chunks of blue crab. Can't say enough about these right here. If I just had one bait to fish with in my backyard in the Chesapeake Bay and inshore waters, it'd probably be a quarter chunk of blue crab right here. This is honestly you can catch everything with this and on a bottom sweeper jig deadly so here's what you're gonna do this bottom sweeper jig i absolutely love it because it's a lot more compact and the hooks are really high quality pretty much the same way that we rigged the other one so you're gonna you know you got one of your appendages right here just go in just go in through one of the appendages just like that make sure you drive the hook as deep as you can just like that right there. So this right here, this setup, I'm gonna be, usually I'm gonna be using about 25 pound test leader line. I'm gonna find that balance of what's like the lightest leader line that I can use cause sheephead have like pretty big eyes. So if you're using like 40 pound leader line, the advantage is that you're not gonna get broken off on a piling. Usually for the bottom sweeper jig and we're fishing this, we're doing a lot more like combat fishing. We're fishing right up against the piling. But I like to find that happy medium, about 25 pound test to me is ideal because at least we have enough uh, pound test that we can handle the big bull drum if you play your drag right. But the sheephead aren't getting line shy, you know, with that really heavy pound test. So for me, about 20 to 30 pound test is ideal. But that's it right there, y'all. Quarter chunk of blue crab on a bottom sweeper jig. So the last one I'm gonna show y'all, this is one of the most basic inshore fishing rigs ever this is a fish finder rig you all probably know about this if you don't now you do so check this out this is what i call the guide special one ounce egg sinker slides up and down your main line two-way uh, barrel swivel right here actually i got to cut off this tag end two-way barrel swivel right here and then 
you're gonna have anywhere from honestly you could even do this much about eight inches to a foot this is about two and a half feet of leader line it's all right doesn't really matter so and then I've got a anywheres between a seven knot um, hook right here like a this is like a five aught to six aught hook right here so you can still use the half of a blue crab but honestly like I said these blue crabs aren't cheap so this right here is that leftover quarter chunk of blue crab if I'm fishing let's say from a boat and I'm casting towards some docks I'm gonna be using this fish finder rig setup if I'm fishing from a kayak and I'm more stealthy and I'm doing more vertical fishing right next to docks and I'm just dropping it next to pilings, that's where I'm gonna be using the bottom sweeper. Uh, the bottom sweeper is still good when you're casting to a dock, but it's gonna sit right on the bottom. The advantage of this one, which is the fish finder rig, is when you have like oyster reef around the dock or just a lot of hangups. So the advantage is this egg weight sinker is gonna sit on the bottom. It's not gonna get hung up as easy. And then you're gonna have this hook right here that's gonna be dangling right there, right behind that. And it's gonna be just right above all that structure. So you can go through one of the appendages, honestly. Sometimes what I do is I just go in like through the middle. It's another way to do it. And then you wanna make sure that you go out through the shell just like that. So this is another perfect way that y'all can rig your blue crab, just like that. All right, so some variations to this one are, if I'm fishing for like slot size reds, you do not need this large hook. This smaller hook right here, this is a two-aught octopus style hook. This will work just fine. One of the common mistakes that I see saltwater anglers, especially people fishing from a beach, is they're using hooks that are too big. This hook right here, just fine. That's all you need. I just wanted to show you all this one right here. This will definitely work. Flounder, redfish, black drum, all that, it'll work great. But another variation is you can use a smaller hook. So if, so if I'm fishing from the beach, then I'm gonna be using this rig right here. This is a great one. Or a slight variation of this one where I'll be using like a two or three ounce pyramid sinker. So the thing is fishing with blue crab, it's so effective. Um, it's got just so much of these oils and juices and we've got tons of flies flying around us right now um, So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up But these right here are my three favorite. These are like the three perfect rigs for fishing with blue crab So we've got this one right here fishing up against like a jetty um, If you're fishing off of a pier off the beach, this one's great uh, If you're fishing from a kayak or let's say you're fishing on a pier and you're just dropping it straight down the bottom sweeper is gonna be deadly. This one right here, um, just cannot say enough good things about it. Uh, I've definitely landed some of my biggest fish and most trophy fish off of this one. And then you guys are going for the big kahuna, big mama, big bull drum, big, what do we call them? The big uglies, the big black drum, the 80 pounders, 90 pounders plus, this is it right here. So big ugly baits for big ugly fish right there in my backyard, Chesapeake Bay. That's it, y'all. That's how to rig a blue crab perfectly. Hopefully this vid helps y'all out. You guys leave us a comment. If y'all have other tutorials, other rigs that y'all want us to show y'all how to do, and please, if you haven't, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, give a thumbs up to this video, and we just love to hear some feedback. If you guys have other variations of some rigs with blue crab that y'all like to use as well. So we're all here to help each other out and catch some fish. All right, people, peace out.